It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today I got something from Iceland to show you. It's their Iceland Takeaway Chicken Vindaloo. You can either put this in the microwave for eight minutes on full power, or, as I'm going to do, put it in the oven for 50 minutes. Now the reason why I'm going to put it in the oven is because I think when you put this type of frozen meal in the microwave, it makes the chicken rubbery. Not a fan. So it's going in the oven. Look at the amount of chicken in there. That looks really good. It's a five star or a five chili rating. 375 grams of food in this chicken vindaloo. And it's all chicken breast. So here we go. Ignore the excited face as I prodded my uh, vindaloo. Smells amazing. Smells absolutely fantastic. Really nice and spicy. Right. 10 to 2 on the cooker. 20 to 3 will be when it's ready. I'll be back in 50 minutes. Oh, what you do, after 35 minutes, remove the film lid, give it a stir, put it back in the oven after 35 minutes for another 15 minutes. Done. So we'll be back when this chicken vindaloo is cooked and we'll see how hot it is. Right, this chicken vindaloo is done. Have a look at that. Bubbling away there, it looks like an inferno. Not just in like heat inferno with it bubbling, but look. Whoa, that's, I think, well, I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. I got some on my finger when I... When I took the film lid off and oh my goodness me. It was hot. It was really hot. I think that'll do from the packaging. Right, here we go. All out. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit warm, to say the least. There it is. Whew. I mean... Look at that. Did I get it high enough? So we have... I mean, there's a big lump of chilli just there. Oh, I, I love chilli. I really love chilli. I've gotten to really love the the acidic taste, the, the vitamin. Some of it, citrus, that's what I'm looking for. I like the citrus taste of, of chilli. They're really lovely. Right, let's try this. My Let's try what's on my fork for a moment. <clears throat> wow. Woo! You know, back in the 80s, 80s and 90s, this was the dish that you dared to ask for in the Indian takeaway or the Indian restaurant. You wouldn't kind of, they would smile at you, the Indian restaurant owners and workers, and they would ask you the question, do you really want to order that? Just by having that little taste there. Whoa. Lumber chicken. Fair play to Iceland. Whenever I've had chicken from Iceland, from these curries, the chicken has always been fairly decent. It's a, it was a lovely... I'm not going to say overly succulent piece of chicken because it's been in the oven for 50 minutes. So slightly dry, but for what oh, I'm struggling with it. Woo! For what it is, this was about £2.50. 
I've had it in my freezer a couple of months. It was around the £2.50 mark. For what you get for these meals, I think they're an absolute bargain. I mean, the chicken's all right. It's, it, it's not kind of roast chicken that you've had in the oven for two and a half hours, you know, coming off the bone lovely. It is a frozen, ready meal. Very convenient. But for what it is, mm, the chicken's lovely. I'm going to say, it's almost like the whole Carolina Reaper ghost chili thing has taken the mantle from Vindaloo. Vindaloo used to be, or chicken fowl, I think it was back in the day, fowl fowl from the Indian. That was the one that they wouldn't serve you. That was up from Vindaloo. Vindaloo used to be the boy. Vindaloo used to be the one that you used to order if you wanted to impress your mates or if you've been out for a night out when you're ready for a bit of a laugh. This day and age, since 2010, it's all been about ghost peppers and Carolina Reaper. Ah. <laughs> okay, right. I'm not sure if I got it all down my chin. That was... That was a rock-hard bit of chicken. Let's dissect this. Ah, oh, it's like a bit of bone or something. doesn't look too bad there was something yes yeah, that it's like it, yeah like that's fat it won't even tear that's what i just crunched into Ugh. yeah something was wrong something was majorly as soon as that went in my mouth i was like ah that's got to come out there's no way i'm chewing on that so just as I was saying how lovely and succulent the chicken is, we've had a bad bit. But fear not, it's not as if I've had this kind of issue many times with Iceland. I tell you, I bought a, I bought a curry from Sainsbury's, reviewed it on this very channel. I can't remember what the curry was now, but that was, that was shocking. Every mouthful of the chicken was unedible. Um... Gonna tentative, tentatively go again with this piece of chicken. Fine. Back on track. What was I just saying? I think I was talking, let's try some of this juice. Oh. That's mega hot. Woo, that, that Vindaloo, wow. That is mega, mega, mega hot curry. Whoa. Flavoursome though. Flavoursome. It's got that kind of citrusy feel to the chilli. Every piece of chicken now is like a gentle little kind of bite on your molar. Make sure it's not kind of fatty like that piece. Whoa. Mm. That bit was okay. Little bit fatty that piece. But how how hot is this this i would say this is a level down from the carolina reaper curry and the ghost pepper curries at iceland i don't know if they still do them this is if you can't eat the carolina reaper curry which i find incredibly hot or if you can eat the ghost pepper one 
but you still like a bit of heat and you want it you want it hotter than chicken tikka then give this a go give this a go the worst thing you're going to be doing if you can eat it is wasting two pound fifty of your money yes i've had a couple of slightly dodgy bits of chicken in this curry it's a bit of a shame usually iceland are very good at this they're very good at giving you good bits of chicken it's a bit of a shame but hey ho these things happen in life oh just struggling a bit now with the heat mm. oh Ooh. Probably tell on my face when I'm starting to struggle. It is hot. Whoa. That's a bit of a beast. That's a bit of a beast of a curry. But tasty all the same. <clears throat> I'm going to finish off with a bit of chicken, hopefully the last piece is okay. Yeah. Oh, where did it go? I'm gonna finish this video off with a little bit of chili. That is hot. That is hot. Right, ingredients very quickly. 28% um, chicken, 99% chicken breast. Uh, I want to read the actual... Oh, what chilies in here? Dried red chilies, chili powder, oh. garlic puree. So they're dried red chilies. <gasps> wow. My rating for this chicken vindaloo in Iceland. Bit of a shame with, with a bit of the rock hard chili. It's actually made me slightly dizzy eating this hot curry. It really has. I'm feeling quite lightheaded. It's quite warm. But it's really good because of the dodgy bits of chicken i'm gonna have to rate it down i would have given it a seven out of ten but on this occasion i'm gonna give it a six out of ten it's a six out of ten from real ale craft beer slight shame that we had a dodgy bit of chicken but there we go it is a ready meal it is bits of processed chicken every now and again you're gonna get a little bit of chicken that slips through the gate of quality Six out of ten. Six out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!